Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn to do some face masks using natural ingredients. So I'll teach you a couple of face masks, a couple of hair masks. On top of that, I'll teach you how to do a facial scrub, which you can also use on your body. So these are all everyday ingredients. It's not stuff you need to go especially to buy. So there is extra virgin olive oil. Uh, you can use any honey you have at home. We have coconut oil. It's better to use a coconut oil that's virgin as well. Uh, the rose absolute is not 100% necessary. You can skip it if you don't want to use it. There's also almond oil, there's castor oil. That's a turmeric powder, distilled water in a bottle. Then we have gram powder, lemon egg. This is a raw refined sugar, like the raw brown sugar, but it's like really grilled down and refined. Then there is the full cream milk. So this is not like the half half, it's full cream milk. So we're gonna use all of these ingredients today to make a few different kind of masks that you can use at home every day. So for this hair mask, we're gonna need an egg, some coconut oil, some honey, and some rose absolute. A rose absolute is not necessary. You can use it if you don't like the smell of egg. This just masks it. Otherwise, you can totally skip this. So this is a hair mask. First of all, we're gonna take an egg, crack it. I know some people don't like the scent of egg, but uh, the Rose Absolute will actually mask it quite nicely. So you whisk the egg first. So after um, whisking the egg a little bit, we're gonna add coconut oil. Uh, in winter, generally, it gets a little bit hard, but it's all right. Once we uh, once we mix it in, it's gonna be perfectly fine. So we need two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then we're gonna need one tablespoon of honey. You can use any honey you like. So same thing, we're going to use round about one tablespoon of honey. So after pouring in the honey, if you don't like the scent of egg, you can pour in a couple of drops of Rose Absolute or whichever other essential oil you like. You can use lavender, any other scent. I like rose, so I'm gonna put in like two to three drops. So now we're gonna whisk it up. So we've added egg, coconut oil, honey, and a little bit of Rose Absolute so it doesn't smell bad. But if you have no aversion to egg, you can literally skip the rose absolute. So just whisk it up. So our egg honey coconut mask is ready to be applied to the hair. You can apply to your hair in sections and leave it on for 30 minutes. Put on a shower cap and wait. Uh, let it absorb and then you can just wash it out of your hair. It should make your hair really smooth, shiny and it's very good for dry hair. So this is our first mask done. So the second one we're gonna do is a hair treatment. This is something we put in our hair after the hair has been washed. So after you've shampooed and conditioned your hair, let your hair dry a little bit so it's not too watery. So we're gonna take distilled water, that's about 50 milliliter of distilled water. In it, we're gonna use one teaspoon of castor oil. So this is castor oil. So we're gonna pour about one teaspoon into the bottle. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of almond oil. So put that in the bottle as well. This is the simplest thing to make. It literally takes minutes and it really helps your hair stay shiny and healthy. So once you've mixed it, just shake it a little bit. So this is ready to apply. So after you've washed and conditioned your hair, just apply this to the end of your hair, not into the roots. Otherwise your hair will get really oily and don't use too much, use it sparingly. So that's our second mask ready. So the one I'm going to teach you now is a very simple scrub. You can use it on your face as well as your body. I'm going to teach you the quantity for the face first. You can just add more ingredients as you want for your body. So over here, I've already added 
one and a half tablespoon of brown sugar with half a tablespoon of honey. So after honey, you can use any of these oils. So you can use either uh, extra virgin olive oil, you can use coconut oil, or you can use almond oil. Uh, coconut oil is not good for people with very oily skin. Sometimes you tend to break out. So I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. So you just need about one to two tablespoons, depending on how watery you want it to be. So now we've put in about two tablespoons of olive oil in this. Next, I'm going to add some Rose Absolute just to make it smell nicer, especially if you're going to use it on your body. So it gives you a nice scent. And if you're allergic to scents or you like some other scent, you can use whichever one you want as long as it's safe to use on the face and body. So now we're going to just mix it up. And this is the kind of consistency that you want. Like it should still be grainy to the touch. And then you can apply this to your face or to your body and scrub everything in circular motion. So now I have washed it off. So the skin looks glowy. It will be a little bit red at first, but slowly the color comes back correct. So this is our scrub that we can use before we use our face masks. So I'm going to teach you now how to do a face mask. So this one, we're going to need some gram powder, which is also basin. Uh, then we're going to need some honey. We're going to need milk, turmeric powder, and we're going to need some lemon juice. So these are the ingredients for this easy to do at home mask. First of all, we've taken about one tablespoon of gram powder and poured it in here. And next step, we're going to do uh, turmeric you can use as much as you want if you feel like your skin is not very good with it you can use less I like to use a bit more so I'm using one whole teaspoon so after the turmeric we're gonna put about one teaspoon of honey into it so after honey we're gonna take some lemon so we need about one tablespoon of lemon juice in it so you can just squeeze the juice onto this thing whatever spoon you're using so after the lemon juice, I have just mixed it up a little. It looks very dry and grainy right now. So based on the consistency of it, you can start adding milk. So you will need about two tablespoons of milk at least. So two tablespoons of milk actually make it quite perfect. So now you just keep mixing it until all of the lumps are gone. And this is the perfect consistency. So this mask can be used on the face, but you can also apply it on your body, some whatever part of your body. If you're breaking out a lot, you can always use this mask to calm down the breakouts. So you just take a little bit. You can use a brush or you can just use your hands and just apply a thin layer to your skin. And then you let it stay on and dry for about 30 minutes and afterwards you can just wash it off with a very mild soap or a mild face wash and that is it for this mask okay so this is our last mask for the day and we are done thank you so much for watching um good luck and stay safe until the next time have a good day bye